I'm constantly amazed by these people who go into museums and, and they attack artwork and they destroy paintings and they think uh, now that they've done that, uh, people are gonna be on their side. Uh, no, you just destroyed a, a painting. You're a horrible person. It happened again today. Uh, this girl goes up and she, she attacks this portrait. She spray paints it and then just just uh, cuts it to shreds there. And, and I, I don't know what cause it is, but guess what? I'm on the other side. Like you, you've instantly converted me. I don't wanna be on the side of people who destroy art and paintings, because guess what? I'm, I'm a little fan of history, and here, here's a little fun to know fact. Uh, the people who destroy art and, and, and paintings are like, they're like never the good guys. They're almost always the bad guys. So that's you, and I don't understand how you even think this would help. You're like, oh, the people of Booty Booty Stan, they really need our help. Shall we go help them? No, I think we should go to the museum and throw some soup on a painting. Who, what kind of logic is that? What are you gonna do next? Go around and just knock cookies out of little kids' hands? It's a painting. Somebody, somebody studied, they have a craft. They, they worked hard at it. They were really good at it. And then they you just come along and destroy it and, and think that now we're going to listen to you about anything? You're out of your mind. Like, that's like, that's like watching somebody build a sandcastle. Then you come up and kick it over and go, now listen to me. I have a solution. No, you're a jackhole because you just knocked over something that doesn't belong to you. Here's the punishment. Here's the punishment fits the crime. Uh, these people who attack sculptures and they, they attack paintings, they now go to jail and, and they are allowed out when they can completely reproduce whatever piece of art it was they attacked. <laughs> right? You have to paint an exact replica and fool experts. Now, uh, while you're in jail painting, your cell door is open 24 hours a day. So someone can come along, maybe they want to protest your painting. And just so you realize what you've done the whole time you're in there learning how to paint like like a like a like a like a master painter you're also wearing a shock collar that is hooked up to the internet and there's a website and anytime day or night people can go onto that website and just pr press control alt delete and you you'll be in there like ooh two more strokes and i get out i've recreated the mona lisa <laughs> and then you have to start again